This is Kepler 22b. Where is it located? Kepler 22b is located in the Kepler 22 system. It is not inside of our solar system, but it is about 620 light years away from Earth, which is a long time. Kepler 22b is special because it is found inside of the Goldilocks zone, which is a very special place in very few solar systems. It is a place that is in perfect range of a star and could be easily easily inhabited. How big is it? Well, scientists are not sure of the actual size because we're too far away and there's no actual way of finding out the actual measurements and how big it is. However, scientists do know that it is about 2.4 times the size of Earth. Although this picture doesn't show that, because this is just a representation of what they look in comparison with each other. What is it composed of? Scientists are not sure because again, we are really far away from this object. It is most likely an ocean-like world because we know that's what Earth was at one point and still is now. Now, let's break it into what we know and what we don't know. What we know, well, we know where it is. We know how far away it is, and how big it is. These are good steps to finding out more about the actual planet. Although they may not tell us a lot about it, they will definitely help us in future research. Now, what we don't know. We don't know a lot of stuff about it, but the main important things that scientists are still trying to figure out are what it's composed of, and is it inhabitable? How did we learn these things? Well, as you can see here, this is the telescope in space that has found out all the things of the planet. The NASA Ames Research Center acts as the Ground System Development, Mission Operations, and Data Analysis Center. This place is significant because it tracks all the data and does all the research. There are a lot of people that work there to try to help find out what this planet is really like. Next, we have the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It is in Pasadena, California. It is Kepler's mission development, and, and it is where it was launched. Let's look ahead to the future. Scientists want to keep studying this planet as much as they can because it is one of the best representations of Earth that we have seen in a long time. They want to try to get closer to it because, again, they do not know a lot of stuff about it and they want to get to know more. And soon in the future, if there is a way to get closer to it, we will find out if it is inhabitable. And maybe, although it doesn't seem realistic, it could be a future inhabitant of people or humans. Were there any important scientists involved? No, there weren't any specific ones, but there were definitely many teams at the different stations in the United States that helped figure this out. It took a big contribution, not just a couple of scientists figuring it out. Other facts? Well, one of the first it is one of the first possible habitable planets found other than Earth. Another interesting thing is that the orbit time is about 290 days compared to Earth's 365-day cycle. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned more about Kepler-22b.